Hi, I am Eugene Bacon. Today, I'd like to talk to you about my novel, Major Fools. But to begin, I would like to acknowledge the First Nations, first storytellers, and traditional owners of the land we live in, the Wurundjeri and Unwurung people of the Kulin Nation. Welcome. Karibu. Bienvenue. Benvenuto. Cabo. Welcome. Su Dawo. Today, I'd like to talk to you about my novel, Major Fools. But first, a little bit about me. I am African Australian. The one is not exclusive from the other. I am a son of many. I am a writer, a scholar, a mother, a sister, a daughter, a reader, a peer and a friend. I am a registered professional editor with IPED, the Institute of Professional Editors in Australia. I'm also the reviews editor of Aurealis, Australia's largest speculative fiction magazine. I'm a story reader for a number of magazines and I have many interests. I write across forms, I write short stories, I write novellas, novels, cross poetry, I write across genres, I write speculative fiction, I write creative research, I write non-fiction, I write literary fiction, and black speculative fiction. This is some of my books, including Writing Speculative Fiction by Bloomsbury Publishing, Made of Fools by Meerkat Press, Road to Whoop Whoop and Other Stories, also by Meerkat Press, Downed Black Thing by Transit Lounge Publishing, and Chasing Whispers, a collection of black speculative fiction coming out in September by Road Dog Screaming Press. I'm always juggling projects and details and links of my work are on my website at eugenebacon.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Eugene Bacon. So what's behind the major fools this novel? I am mostly a short story writer. You can tell from the many collections that I have. When I set out to write Major Fools, I knew from the onset that I wanted to write it part by part. I wanted it to be a novel, one that borrows from my strengths as a short story writer. I wanted it to be Afrofuturistic, envisioning a future Africa impacted by climate change. I wanted it to be dystopian, a social world that took and took and took, oppressing its people. I wanted to invent it to make a meta country. Mafinga is actually a real town in Tanzania where I was born. In my story, I recreate Mafinga to become a country, a dystopian country. I wanted this story to be full of strong female characters, women like Jasmine, the heroine of our story, and Mama Apio, who's the mentor to Jasmine, women like Mama Gambo, whose husband the system murdered, and Solo, Jasmine's lover, who's leading the resistance. To bring the best version of this work, I needed to do the research. I wanted to write a convincing story and employed a heroine's journey for Jasmine. I created a world in parts, borrowing from my strengths as a short story writer to bring intensity, precision, and flexibility to the story. In this part-by-part -part development, in part one, I introduced Ujama. I introduced the characters and the socialist setting of my finger. 
to prepare. I researched what a harsh reality might look like. I thought about desolate worlds. I looked at pictures of barren land, desert plants, desert animals. Factories and warehouses where the people of my finger would slog. I created a map of my finger, this dire country that oppressed its people. In part two, I introduced the royal household. I expanded the storyline, and here, now Jasmine is in captivity. She's a slave in the royal household. The queen is holding Jasmine's children hostage. I researched palatial houses. What does opulence look like? Lush gardens. I took walks around the botanical gardens, looked at the flowers, studied the trees. In part three, I deviated and paid attention to the villain, Atari. I wanted to write a parallel narrative that cast insight to the villain what makes him the villain he becomes. I researched planets, weird planets, Exumun, Uranium. Uranium is the substance that antagonist Atari is addicted to. And then in part four, I introduced the resistance, a group of Amazonian women led by Jasmine's lover, Solo. In part five, we have the denouement, closing out the story. What happens to Jasmine? What happens to the people of my finger? Ujama plays a big part in this story. Ujama is African socialism. I wanted to show what African socialism might look like. This systemic approach to community and togetherness, it's theoretically sound, community and togetherness, but there's potential for misuse. Major Fools is a story of resilience. The villain Atari was not born a monster. His parents create what he becomes. In the oppressive nature of her world, Jasmine has a choice on who to become. Major Fools is a story about free will. It's a story about the spirit of humanity in the face of atrocity. In Major Fools, there is a militant world with its armed guards and supervisors, people like Mari Daddy, people like Hotel. We see a violent scene that happens in the factory. Mari Daddy, her fingers are no longer on the taser in her belt. They are pointing at Jasmine. You, stop right there. The voice is a bullet. Jasmine quickens her pace to get away. She's elbowing, pushing past workers, searching for a space in the crowd, a place to blend in. Stop right now. Jasmine takes to disoriented running, but it's hard to run in a crowd. Protagonist Jasmine's fears bring out a golem that is Atari, the villain of the story, the strangeness in him. Suddenly, a strangeness overwhelms her. She's walking in slow motion, her senses distorted, her limbs are dotted lines. Her breathing is too loud, gusts in her ears. She's aware of the doms as they glow at her approach. They're swaying and shifting with obscure meaning. She feels they want something. Jasmine 
recognizes the sound as the golem spreads in a melt her way. It's a factory song. Before she knows it, the walls are slipping, bricks spilling from the house, curling into the now sea green smoke wafting in her direction. Sound explodes syllable by syllable. The factory song now a shout. Glatter, 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 tiki tok tok, ze papa, ze papa, rum, rum. The golem is inside her head. Run, Jasmine, run. She finds her feet. Run, run. Jasmine is running, run, run. I hope. You're curious to find out more about this black speculative fiction, Major Fools, an Afrofuturistic dystopia set in Mathinga. You can find out more about me and my work at eugenebacon.com and you can follow me on Twitter at eugenebacon.com.